to this video on how to make play-doh without cream of tartar and without cooking. This is a great recipe for little ones to help out because everybody can get in there and get their hands all mucky and uh, there's no naked flames which is always a, a good thing with little children around. As far as kitchen implements are concerned it's uh, very, very basic. You've got a spoon just to mix with, you've got a, a nice big tough uh, bowl, you've got a sieve, great for sieving um, the flour, it makes it a little bit easier. You've got something to measure um, the flour and the salt with, this is a one cup uh, measuring utensil, this measures 150 grams and you've got a teaspoon, uh, sorry a tablespoon uh, which is good for measuring um, for the oil. As far as ingredients are concerned you need two cups or 300 grams of plain flour, you need one cup of salt or 150 grams, you need one tablespoon of vegetable oil and uh, this is just normal vegetable oil, it's nothing special and you need a bit of food colouring as well um, just to, and this is, uh, this is red food colouring but any colour of your choice will do. Okay so we're going to start by measuring out the ingredients first of all. Right, once we've done that, what we want to do is mix the salt and the flour together first of all. So there's two cups, 300 grams of uh, flour, one cup, 150 grams of table salt, to add uh, the oil next, one tablespoon of vegetable oil and one cup of water. Now I'm going to start just doing half a cup first of all and you can add more should you need it, but uh, if it gets too wet then you can um, add more flour and if it's too dry then add in more, um, more water as you need. I'm just going to work it in with a spoon and then we're going to get our hands in there. Right, I'm going to get my things in there, just clean the spoon off a bit. sort of get in there. Now food colouring, what you do, sink your thumb in to the middle like that, make a bit of a well, and get the food colouring. Just pour, pour bits, small bits in at a time, and just gently work your way through. The more colourful you want it, the more you add. It's good to add the colouring in small parts so you can regulate exactly what colour and how colourful you want it. I've done three videos and honestly, I'm going to do it in two parts I think. Honestly the, um, the one where you cook it I think personally is the better one. That um, It's easier and it's, it's uh, the play though tends to last a bit longer. This is just a little bit crumbly. Add a bit more water to this. Now 
Okay, so this is uh, this is a Play-Doh. We've um, it's I've spent perhaps um, maybe ten minutes if you know needing these. Uh, it's pretty tough going to begin with, to be honest. Uh, it just is. But then the more you, uh, you the more you need it, the, the more pliable it becomes, and the more colouring that you add, the easier it becomes. And yeah, then it's yeah, then it's just Play-Doh. But no, it's great, isn't it? No, I mean we've not cooked it. We've not had use any cream of tartar and we've got play-doh this will last if you put it in a ziploc bag a sandwich bag or freezer bag and uh, store it in the fridge this will last you a couple of months doesn't last to be honest quite as long as the recipes that have cream of tartar but uh, it still lasts long enough and uh, you know you now know how easy and quick it is to make and uh, you can probably you know make as much as you want and uh, you could do I mean I've done two colors although this one looks a little bit pinker um, but you could do different colors if you wanted split it into smaller groups and do um, uh, different colors but um, yeah that is it that's how to make play-doh without cream of tartar and without cooking mm -hmm.